in considering the very wise and sacred thought of our founder, Yoranda, and his successor, Martin Exeter. We know that for there to be vertical thrust, there must first be what I'm calling vertical lust. One voicing of that lusting was known biblically as hungering and thirsting after righteousness. And in the words of a more modern poet known as George Harrison, it was voiced in a song called My Sweet Lord in this way. My sweet Lord, I really want to see you. I really want to be with you. And in the second verse, I really want to know you. And these words with a few other were voiced again and again with great genuineness for over five minutes worldwide with endless airplay in a pop song universe where the average song was only two or three minutes. And yet this five minute song became the most requested one of its day. I think George Harrison was voicing the subconscious longing of many within humanity through those words. It takes such a strong vertical lust to achieve vertical thrust. You don't have to be a rocket scientist to know that rocket scientists work very hard to achieve what's called vertical thrust, that which it takes to leave the Earth's gravitational field and be liberated into a higher space. And when you achieve full liftoff into that higher space, you fully emerge into the galaxy called oneness. And then the lyrics change. The lyrics become, my sweet Lord, I really do know you. I really get to be with you. And even I really am you. Not I'm God in the arrogant way that some world rulers and political heads have imagined themselves to be gods but I'm God as your vehicle in expression, the face of my God on earth. I'm your drum, your bell, your lighthouse, your trumpet, your drumhead, your voice on earth. And there's such ecstasy in that state of knowing and being that you long to share it with everyone through unconditional and omnidirectional love. But once again, it first takes vertical lust to reach this vertical thrust. Imagine the audience at a concert, each seated in their isolated bubbles of self-activity. And then the musicians who've been rehearsing and rehearsing to produce a very fine level of music arrive on stage and play and sing the Hallelujah Chorus. The audience then awakens to a higher state and rises up and sings along powerfully. And the true conductor provides the control for that rhythm and tempo. What we produce in our living must generate a rising in consciousness, first within ourselves, such that then it can rise up in others. If I and my consciousness be lifted up, I will draw all consciousness, all thrust, all that gives a vibrational standing ovation unto me. For the rising up of consciousness and the chorus singing, Hallelujah, followed by my sweet Lord. As the tom-tom, the snare, the tribal drum, the bass drum, the timpani, the marching drum and the conga drums all beat again and again and the rhythm and the substance become finer and finer, one can say and know in concert, I really get to see you, I really do know you, and I really reveal you, my sweet Lord. We get to express that fullness of being and unconditional love which overflows. How fulfilling, how ecstatic, and how very essential to a world in deep suffering crying out, crying out for this love. <laughs> 